UK best Iroko TV dubbed the Netflix of Africa is the continent's leading online subscription and distribution service for TV and Nigerian movies. The platform streams content directly to avid consumers in amazing high definition quality. 31 year old Nigerian born Jackson Njuku, the founder and CEO of Iroko TV, says the idea came to him when he realized his family and friends in London had an insustainable appetite for Nollywood films, but were always struggling to get the latest releases. Being that I lived with mum again, um, I was going to aunties and uncles' houses and friends and families in the Nigerian community in, in London, and they were all watching a similar type of movie. So I was just, how have I missed this huge... Um, you know, this huge movement, this huge phenomenon in Nigerian cinema, and I'm a media guy. So I tasked myself with just finding out more about the industry. Since January, Iroko TV has recorded about 3,000 titles and signed up over 100,000 subscribers. The films are currently distributed for free because revenue is made through advertising. But uh, starting in June, subscribers will have to pay for the service. Nollywood films are often tales of cannibalism, witchcraft and whipping girlfriends who put curses on their errant boyfriends. But Nigeria's nearly $1 billion film industry is Africa's biggest, after India's Bollywood and America's Hollywood. Njuku says Iroku TV's wide-ranging viewership spans from Africa to the diaspora, the largest markets being in the United States, the UK, Canada, Germany and Italy, mostly because of high broadband penetration. In London, we have more viewers in London than we do have in the whole of Nigeria. When you think how many Nigerians or Africans are even in London compared to the 150 million or so in Nigeria. So once the broadband penetration improves, um, then we expect to see like a massive surge in um, sort of interest in Africa. So my prediction is in five years time we'll be talking about an African business as opposed to being a Western one. Njuku says Nollywood churns out about 50 low budget films a week to find the movies for distribution, he had to move back and physically find the production houses, many of which did not have offices and were often a setup of a one man and his cell phone. Producers eventually got acquainted with the idea and now they call him, but piracy is rampant and producers lose out on huge amounts of revenue from the illegal sale of their copyrighted films and music. Njuku says with better internet penetration in Africa where millions of fans still rely on DVDs yes. that are often illegal copies, the market is said to grow tremendously in the next five years. I don't understand. You don't understand. I know you will not understand. Award-winning filmmaker Ochenchuku Ogunifa, often referred to as the father of Nollywood, says Iroko TV is creating a new avenue for films to be seen and in turn eliminating piracy and making sure film revenues go to the right people. What Iroko is doing is going to help our industry. But the only challenge I foresee, which I am not praying for it to happen, is that typical of Nigerian um, industries, there is always this ingenuity in Africans, especially Nigerians, to be able to circumvent whatever someone has created that he thinks is foolproof. While some of Africa's expertly trained uh, filmmakers discern Nigeria's commercial approach, others believe it's filling a gap which will bring a dividends in the long run. Over 1,000 movies are produced in Nollywood each year, most in local languages including Yoruba, Hausa and Igbo, while English accounts for more than 40% of the films produced. Paul Ndihao, VOA News.